had to do yeah. something. You're never playing this ever, actually. You're now banned. <laughs> my heart's beating really fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Can I bring you back to the third dimension? Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check these emails. All right, oops, there's one here. Hey, Julia Nuba. My name is Jordan, and I'm a 23-year-old dancer and choreographer from Coventry. I wouldn't change a single thing. Two years ago, in search of my Mr. Right, I signed myself up to loads of dating apps. I matched with my perfect man on not one, but three of them. His name is Austin, and he is 100% my type. <laughs> I've moved over to the UK from Bulgaria and not knowing many people, he was a real support. We've been talking now for two years and I can see him becoming my husband. However, we have never video called or spoken on the phone and when it comes to meeting up, he cancels. I've got to the point where things can't go on like this and I need your help in tracking down Austin as he is my Mr. Right. Fingers and toes crossed, Jordan. Wow. My question with this has to be, how can this guy be your husband? You've been talking for two years, no video calls, never spoken on the phone, cancels when you want to meet up. Why is Jordan saying this is his Mr. Right? I don't feel like the world brings people into your life for no reason. Right. So I think we should give Jordan a call. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Jordan. How are you? I'm good, how are you? So nice to meet you. Yeah, this is great to meet you too. We got your email about Austin. We're really excited to find out more about this wonderful person that's come into your life. I literally matched with him for the first time like two years ago. Okay. I kept on matching like through the years, you know? You said in your email that he's your type. What's your type? He's handsome. He has this kind of like baby face. He messages me, takes care of me, like he is the guy, like my type. So is this the first time you've had someone in your life that is, has done this for you? This was the first time. I come from a country called Bulgaria, and Bulgaria is not really um, gay friendly at all. Okay. Right. And there I did not want to date anyone because I was just scared of what might happen. So when I came here and seeing how friendly it was like, I would go around the streets and I would see people holding hands, you know? And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so like when I actually found Austin, it was like, oh, I found a guy. <laughs> Jordan, it sounds like you're really serious about Austin. You know, I kind of have this fantasies about us. Like we can get like, I don't know, married. We can have kids. Like, will he have a problem with cats? Cause I love cats. <laughs> So, Jordan, we really want to help you. Yep. I can't wait for you to come here. Like, I want to show you his pictures. Like, I want to show you his, his body, like, especially. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you soon, Jordan. I'll see you soon. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye. As much as I was, you know, why is he so into this guy? It's only been this much time. And, you know, mm. why is he Mr. Right so soon? Mm -hmm. Hearing him talk about not being able to be himself yes. made me understand it. We wouldn't be here if Jordan didn't have such a strong connection with Austin. And that's what's made him ignore all of the kind of the other stuff. Mm. And he deserves it. Let's go to Coventry. Yeah, let's find Jordan, his Mr. Right. Madam. Oh, thanks, babes. We're off to the Midlands. This is where I'm from. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm happy we're going to somewhere near your hometown, but my favourite city outside of London is Birmingham. It's a great city. The Coventry is great too. We also have to get ready for Jordan. I'm excited to meet him, but I think he's definitely going to be a handful. Two years strong, no FaceTime call, no phone calls, cancels meetings, True. but he's still going for it. I like that he's persistent. Yeah, me too.